All right, for today's review, we're going to be talking about Ice House. Now, this is a 5.5% alcohol by volume ice beer. And today's market will run you about um, 11 bucks for a 12 pack and about $20 for a 24 pack. So, it's on the cheaper end of things. Uh, yeah, ice beer. I don't think I've ever had Bud Ice. Or if I did, it was like once a really long time ago. And Bush Ice was one of my all-time favorite drinks just because um, the price, the drinkability, it, it was an, a decent flavor. And I, I, liked, I liked the can. I liked everything about it. But unfortunately, Bush Ice is no longer uh, an option for me. There's also a beer called um, Milwaukee's Best Ice, a.k.a. The Beast Ice. And that beer is just incredibly, incredibly bad. Uh, yeah, it's... The Beast Ice is, 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 is really terrible. Both drinking it and then the next day I feel like the hangover is just is just slightly worse. So a couple weeks ago I decided to uh, try to replace my bush ice with Ice House. And let's get right into it, all right? Oh, yeah. So, ice beer, if I'm not mistaken, is the gimmick with it is, is, is it's uh, brewed colder and then they scrape a bunch of the ice off the top of it, and that's your beer. Uh, I got a ton of head on this. Maybe I should have tried pouring it a little more gently, but I think, regardless, this is just going to be a much frothier beard. Did I say beard? What the fuck? A more frothier beer. First beer of the night, by the way. So it's not like something's going on here where I'm calling beer beards. Okay. <sighs> smells like a beer to me. Let's give it a taste. Get through the um, three fingers worth of head first. You know, I wouldn't say it's great, but it's not bad. It's like, hmm. I guess first of all, like, you know, with light beers and stuff, you know, that's the type of beer you take to the beach or, or fishing or if you're a college kid partying, stuff like that, right? And then later on in life, maybe you you, you get some IPAs and you, you drink them and you smell them and you go to a fancy little brewery where you see guys with beards, beer and beards, right? Like every beer has kind of its its place, right? It's, it's seen. I don't really know where you would see this. Like, this is a beer you don't drink, like, out in the open. That You drink this with shame. Like, you know, if, if you're, you either drink it on the streets, down an alley, or you drink it, like, alone, I feel. This is not a social beer. This is a beer you get because you want to get fucked up. And there's nothing wrong with that. I think at the end of the day, that should be, you know, one of the primary reasons you get beer. You know, um, I'm pretty sure this is a Miller product, by the way. Yeah. Am I right about that? I think I am. Anyways, 
So that's my thoughts on ice beer. But it's very drinkable. Um, however, it's not the best tasting beer. I'm going to say because when you get this beer, you're getting it. You're getting to get fucked up, right? It's not so much a taste issue. And it's very cheap, which is nice. I'm going to give it a solid middle of the road three out of five.